All right, let me show you how I'm doing things. Now, when I put, brought all the slates up, we had two of us, or even three of us on one day, which was a nice treat. Uh, we kept all the thicker slates, and you get a feel for it as you're going through them, uh, for down the bottom. Then we kind of gone to the main bulk of the slates, maybe 70, 80% of the slates were quite regular. And then at the top, if there are any skinny ones, we kept them for the top. But if we come over to here, where we need to start a new run, the first slate is fixed to this bottom bonus button. Uh, this is also kicked up a little bit, so our fascia board is a little bit higher, and what that does is it just makes sure that everything is tight down here. So this one has to be cut. The rest of them are pretty much whole. The other thing I've done is upturned this one. I don't think that's completely vital, but uh, they sit really nice together then because we've actually got to put two on top of each other. And then the, the ribbon edge on this one, you just lay like normal. So this one's going in here. Little gap, I've just used the nail as a gap. These copper nails, I think are three mil or something like that. Even when I'm laying these on, I'm just making sure that they're fairly flush. I've been checking the distance from the fascia to make sure we're about 60 mil because our brackets are about 10 mil deep. That one I've made about a millimetre further, you know, so it's just over the bottom one. And then at this point, we're gonna to jump to hooks. Now the back of the roof, I'm using hooks. I've bought enough for the whole roof, but I'm tempted to go with nails for the front just for aesthetics. What I did before we put the slates out is just snap some ch red chalk lines on the battens. That's really good because all of these spikes or even the nails can, can always hit that line and you know you end up straight. They've held up all right, this is semi-permanent chalk, but I also didn't do all the battens and I'm kind of wishing I had and I can't do that now because we've got slates everywhere. Well, we made a start last week on the slates, tipping it down with rain today, uh, but so far, this is how we're getting on. So this side all went in with the hooks, a lot of lessons learned, but getting there slowly. I'm at my first bit of flashing to go around there. So after two days in, I'm slowly getting the hang of it. There's a little bit of preparation to get the slates on the roof, so you're not constantly going up and down to make sure you're keeping things in straight lines where possible and obviously dealing with the flashings on the roof lights it's been great having a day or two each week where i'm not alone so i've had um, either gary who's been working on the stacks and kind of getting that all ready to be repointed i've also had will giving me a hand just getting slates up on the roof so 
for a little part of the week uh, it's nice to have a bit of company but for the majority of the time it's just getting on that roof and just fitting as many as I can in the time I've got available in between work and family life. I'm slowly getting the hang of it and these hooks really do work very well. Now I'm a little bit concerned about how uh, visible they will be. I don't think they're actually going to show up too much at all so I may still use them for the front of the roof. Every slate basically has four hooks around it. It's got one at the top, two at the sides and the main one underneath holding it down. So the whole roof just ends up super secure. It's a miserable wet day, but it's an early start. Figured that I just need to battle on because otherwise you're gonna be here at Christmas. So this is how I left it up yesterday. I'm about two thirds of the way across. The roof light, the first roof light, which is the key light, was a real pain that took ages. I was working with the old flashings and just getting my head around it. Hopefully this Velux will be quicker today and hopefully they won't look too different afterwards. But apart from that, I'm ready to go on my next run of three up from the bottom and we'll just run all the way to the top then we'll work on the Baylux and then we'll head across and hopefully get this side finished today. getting quite close to finishing the second roof light so I thought I'd show you some of the issues I got one is they are laid out in an old old roof without any thought of where the slates go so we're gonna have to deal with some cuts we're having to use up our slate and a half which is a pain so I haven't got many uh, so on the other one I have to use two up each side or three up each side and I have to do the same here you can see that this slate if it was positioned in the middle of where that hook is the gap here is slightly too big there's just no way around that because you can't end up with a little thin skinny bit of slate i'm not using anything less than kind of two thirds of the slate As you're picking through them, especially when it's wet like this, it's easy to spot. But you can see there's a bit of a line there, and sometimes that's just where they've been stacked and it's a drip of water. But more often than not, if I'm a tap, this sounds a bit rattly. When I put some pressure on it, I can see that gap opening up, so it's no good. We better get rid of it now before it cracks in years to come. Now I'm getting close to finishing the back roof. I've left the last few slates around the stacks right up on the ridge and the last thing I need to do is just finish the verge. I'm almost there now and the next video I'll go into a bit more detail on the barge boards, the verge and the whole design that I've gone with there. There's a bit of detailing there and it's worth spending some time getting that bit right because if it's going to fail it's going to fail on the edges or down the bottom in the corners and it's, uh, it, I wouldn't say it's kept me up at night, but it's been a great deal of thought that's gone into it. Now as you professionals might be able to tell, this is the first time I've tackled a roof, let alone a slate roof, so do be kind, but I'm slowly getting the hang of it. There's a lot of things I've picked up and learnt as I've been working through my, through this side of the roof. Uh, also lots of help being shared via Instagram and other subscribers and local roofer friend. 
Um, but I really want to get these things nailed before I get around to the front. Now, one thing is the drifting out from that roof light. You can see a couple of the uh, courses got thrown out a bit there um, from the perpendicular joints. So those vertical lines that run up the roof are really evident if you get them wrong when you're looking up at the house that they stand out so that's the one thing i really want to make sure that i snap some chalk lines stick to it and keep an eye on that on the front uh, next week's challenge is to get the whole front done and then move on to all that lead work to finish the guttering is on route and hopefully lockdown won't slow that down as always a massive thank you to our supporters over on patreon for more information you can find the link down in the description also we've got a whole bunch of our mugs still for sale and i will put the link to our website so you can head over and buy one for yourself but that's it for this week thank you for watching remember if you can do it yourself and we'll see you next time <laughs>